Jesus is the answer for the world today. Hello, family. Pastor Olau Luke Christian Pentecostal Church, and we're continuing our devotional series on uh, the holiness of God and the holy, how he's just different, you know, how he's just perfect and set apart from us, how he doesn't do things the way we think he should do things, how there are things beyond our comprehension, and there are things that we come that come in revelation, you know, that you know he reveals in due season for us. And you know, as we're entering this Christmas season now where we celebrate the birth of Christ, the beginning of the redemption, like the the uh, the beginning point in history of the redemption story of man where God himself came in the form of man, in the form of Christ Jesus to redeem us, to reconcile us back to himself, God. Um, as we're reading Genesis chapter 8, you know, last last week we spoke at Genesis chapter 6 and 7, where we see the flood. As we read Genesis chapter 8, there is something that's interesting here that comes to mind. See, in Genesis chapter 8, we see that the waters have stopped. We see that the, the rain has stopped. God has stopped the rain. And Noah was now in the ark. And Noah was trying to figure out, not, let me say, Noah was trying to figure out, have the waters receded enough for us to step out? So Noah sends a raven. And then he also sends a dove, right? And in chapter, in verse six says, and it came to pass at the end of 40 days that Noah opened the window of the ark, which he had made. And he sent forth the raven, which went forth to and fro until the waters were dried up from off the earth. Also, he sent forth a dove from him to see if the waters were abated from off the face of the ground. But the dove found no rest for the sole of her feet, and she returned unto him into the ark, for the waters were on the face of the whole earth. Then he put forth his hand, and he took her, and pulled her in unto himself into the ark. And he stayed yet another yet other seven days, and again he sent forth the dove out of the ark. ark. And the dove came in to him in the evening, and lo, in her mouth was an olive leaf plucked off. So Noah knew that the waters were abated from off of the earth from off the earth and he stayed yet another yet other seven days and sent forth a dove which, which returned not again unto him anymore so as i read this you know scripture builds upon scripture i know at times we we'll read scripture we're like okay i think i got this i understand and then sometimes it could be years later sometimes days sometimes months sometimes hours where you read another portion of scripture and you're like, wait, 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 this is with this over here, right? Or I see this over here. And when I read this portion of scripture, I remember when Christ was being baptized, how the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God descended upon him like a dove and remained. Here I see this juxtaposition of where Noah, God had basically poured out his wrath upon mankind and judged mankind and left a remnant right and we see to see god is it over yet or is it safe for us to come out now noah sends out a dove and the dove goes comes back basically no no it's not good yet sends him out again send the dove out again the goes the dove cold goes and comes back and bring forth an olive leaf or an olive branch where Noah can say, okay, the waters are receding now. And then the dove goes and comes back. All right, she goes and she does not come back. See, and I see that and I see where, where the Spirit of God descends upon Christ and remains. That is our olive branch. That Christ himself is the olive branch, the reconciler, the payment for our penalties between man and God. And I see... Like, it's just, it's just an amazing thing. I mean, just seeing like these, I don't think God does anything by accident. I don't think that there's anything in scripture that's incidental. Our God is intentional. And I see here where, okay, that same form, that same dove from the judgment of mankind, we see the reconciliation of mankind. From old to new. 
And it just makes me want to say, wow. Just makes me want to say, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Because when we come to celebrate your coming to this earth, it was not for nothing. That the fact that I can stand here today to speak of your goodness, God, to speak of your majesty, to speak of how much you love me, is simply because of what you've done, Christ. The fact that we can speak of revelation knowledge, of what we see here a little, there a little, instances of God, how you redeem, and how the old is a mirror of the new, makes me just want to say, wow, you are awesome. So today I hope, I pray, that as we march towards Christmas, as we march towards remembering our Savior, remembering God's love and what he has done in reconciling man back to himself, that I pray that we just say, wow, thank you. That we see the things that God has done time and time again. That we recognize his faithfulness. And we praise him in awe and adoration. God bless you. And be blessed. In the presence of the Lord. And in this season that we are entering. God bless you. Thank you.